Hey, what's up guys? Omar Farouk here, co-founder and CEO of Glorify. Welcome to this really exciting video where I'm going to finally show you a sneak peek preview of Glorify 3.0 in its early beta phase. Now, for those of you guys who apply to private beta, this video is relevant to you guys as well because I'm going to show you exactly how you can get access to Glorify 3.0 private beta within your accounts. And those of you guys who haven't applied yet, click the link to apply with, associated with this video. Now, this is the first phase of the app that brings to you the core features, but we're going to also be launching uh, other 3.0 features as we go along in the next couple of months before releasing Glorify 3.0 out, uh, out of beta. Uh, now, really exciting times, but before we jump into it, I want to give you guys a bit of context. You know, we, over the last year, since we closed our seed round, we've been really busy building Glorify to the true vision we've always had, which is to build the most easy to use yet powerful collaborative content design tool. And really what sits at the center of the philosophy is building a design tool that is easy enough for non-designers or big people who are beginners in design, such as marketers, entrepreneurs, or other people with different backgrounds to get Kickstarter solo uh, with hardly any learning curve. But at the same time, not sacrificing advanced features and still giving a powerful experience for professional designers to harness full creative freedom and unleash their uh, creative potential. By creating such a balanced design tool experience for both professional designers and non-designers alike, we believe that we're gonna make collaboration much more seamless than what exists today. Anyone with different backgrounds and skill sets come into Glorify and start by a whiteboard workflow for to plan and strategize all the way through the content design workflow itself from creating images, PDFs, video, and the exciting part is at scale. It's no secret that all big ideas for business, campaigns, or any vision that you have starts with a moment of inspiration. And we're building Glorify to facilitate inspiration in every corner, to keep you inspired to work on your big ideas. Now, with that said, let's jump straight into it. So once you sign into Glorify, you can start a design any way you like, but I'm just going to go ahead and start with a blank canvas. Create design. Now, it'll show you this pop-up here where you can choose either to stick to Editor 2.0 or explore Editor 3.0 Beta. Now, do note that if you do start a file with 3.0 Beta, you will not be able to revert that design to 2.0. However, you can always start a new design from scratch with Editor 2.0. And do note, this is in Beta, so it won't be flawless. There will be a few bugs and issues, and the hence why it is still in beta. So welcome to Glorify 3.0 Editor. Off the bat, you can see a lot of uh, new changes. The most noticeable one, of course, is the toolbar on the left it gives you access to quick access tool without having to exhaustively browse through your libraries as we used to do in the past. Of course, this is great to access your projects, you know, other libraries like mockups, uh, images, and other stock assets. However, it can be fairly exhausting to just, you know, grab simple uh, assets such as your text, you know, your core shape, square, circle, triangle, lines, uh, we've got a pencil tool, which we'll explore in a moment. Now, let's just give you a little preview of how this works. So you can pick something like your header and simply go to your canvas and click where you want to add it, right? So this is a much more improved workflow. You can add your subheading, your body text, and your bullet list. And we've got this cool feature with the bullet where you can actually even offset the text as well. So pretty cool over there. Uh, gives you so much freedom to create amazing um, you know, kind of layouts. Now, the shapes has the shapes tool has also had a huge improvement. We call the smart shapes, where you can actually, uh, you know, control the properties of the shape directly on the canvas, such as the corner radius of our square. Um, similarly, you can do the same for our circle, which has this now ring effect, and you can trim the outer uh, radius as well, which is really cool. So, tons of effect that you can achieve with this. We've got a polygon tool. We'll just skip that and go straight to the, tr the star just for the case of time, but explore all the different shapes that we have. The star, as you can see, you've got full control of the star all the way from the inner distance to the amount of sides and even the corner radius of the star itself. Gives you this amazing ability to go from sharp, from a sharp edge to a rounded edge, right? And you can get these really cool, um, these really cool um, sort of badge effects, right? Now, next thing that's been a huge improvement, of course, that you cannot ignore is the color picker. So previously, of course, we had we have the same color picker where you're gonna got these default colors. You can explore your brand colors, but the most important improvement is the gradients tool. So for, when you click the gradients tool, you can choose between radial and linear, and you actually got the controls directly on your um, canvas. So you can pick. A different gradient over here as you can see you can keep adding to your gradients and get this really cool effect as you see and double click to remove a color on the gradient slider and just pick the colors that you want so 
So super exciting, huh? So I mean, this this I'm really pumped about this, and I've been using this and playing around a lot with this, and uh, you can achieve so much effects with this. Now let's switch this to a linear. So linear, same thing. Direct control on the canvas, position exactly how you want it, and on top of that, you got the ability to add colors in between uh, as many as you like. Okay, let's get a cool effect for this. Um, what I'm going to do is remove these colors and. Nice. So look, that's you know the potential of that. Now coming back to this shape over here, we've also got this really cool feature, um, same as before, where we can add uh, images directly to the to the shape, as you guys know. But it's had a major improvement. So let's go ahead and pick the shape, click Add Image, opens up the library that you want. You can export the libraries that you want and go ahead and pick anything that you like. So let's go pick a fancy image, like this one over here. Boom, so you got the image inside. Now there's a huge improvement in how you control this image. So go on the right panel, the edit panel, click edit, and you've got this tool over here to position exactly where you want and rotate it inside your container. Now, not only that, you also got this pattern tool to make it into a pattern. So, you know, the possibilities are endless, as you can see, you can have a lot of fun with this. Uh, and to get the desired effect, right? That's definitely choosing the right image is important here. Now I'm going to go ahead, pull out the pattern. I just want to get an uh, interesting image inside here. Let's try to craft an interesting, interesting composition. So here's my bear badge, get in some text. Here's an interesting font. Center up the text. Now you can see all of your edit controls on the right hand side has had an improvement. You can simply scale by using the fields directly and control letter spacing by simply going to the fields and dragging instead of having these limited sliders that we used to have, right? So that's a major improvement. It's gonna enhance your workflow, believe me. So let's go ahead and position this text inside the badge. I'm going to group select this and you can see my selection over here. I can go ahead and click group object. Now, huge improvement in groups as well. Now, when you make a group, what you could do is actually um, double click so you can edit inside the group. You can pick the shape, pick the text. And then once you click out, it is again intact, the group. As you can see, you, you, the group is intact. So whenever you want to edit inside the group, you can just double click the elements. And on top of that, you can go to layers and open up the group in the layers and pick the element you want that you want to edit as well. So, so many different workflows to do the same thing. You can pick whatever suits you best. All right, so let's keep going. I'm going to go add. Great, okay, we've got an interesting composition here. Now, uh, I'm gonna also show you this really cool tool, improvement on the pencil tool. Um, we also got the pen tool coming really soon, uh, but you know, there's a few more uh, developments that we're, milestones we're gonna hit before we release that. But for now, play around with the pencil tool. It's really cool because what you could do is, uh, you actually get this effect that is mimicking the pressure sensitivity. So the faster you go, the thinner the line, the slower you go, the thicker the line, right? So you can get all these cool effects. Um, as you can see over here.
How cool is that? Now, what else? Um, we got our buttons. So you get different types of uh, buttons from the menu over here. You can go from outline, filled, outline, round, etc. Let's go ahead and choose a fill button. Uh, button gets added right in your canvas. Um, you can control different aspects of it. First of all, first of all let's just turn text. So you can switch the text from here directly, uh, this text field, but you can also double click directly here and say book and, and, and type whatever you need. So book now, text, and let's get a nice little color in there. Beautiful. Scale the text inside using the slider over here and scales perfectly responsive. Um, you can go ahead and add an icon by clicking the add option over here and choose between right and left. Open the assets menu and just click replace. You'll see different icons you can pick from. So go ahead and explore noun project. We want a simple icon here, which is um, calendar maybe or arrow actually. Actually, I want it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And close that. Uh, make the icon color white and reduce the distance. So you see the buttons are fully responsive. Great, very useful element that you can use to just get the desired effect you need for your button design. Alrighty, so. So we're almost finished with this design, but before we do conclude, I want to show you some more features. We're going to go jump into our libraries. So just by clicking the plus button, you can access all of Glorify's libraries through here, the stock assets, etc., even your own personal ones and templates. Uh, now before, so what I want to do here is go into icons and we're going to uh, premium icons. Huge improvement on, by the way, the icons libraries from third parties. You can actually filter by category. So in this case, I want to go ahead with, um, gradient line which is a perfect match for this design in fact to get this kind of cool gradient style and you can go ahead and search within that filter so i want to look for planes perfect so i've got the filter here and let's go ahead and drag drop now so we never used to have drag and drop it used to be a click drop workflow you can now drag and drop exactly where you want your assets right huge improvement there so let's go ahead and add that somewhere and now let's talk about the icon design improvement so here's your icon uh, element uh, you can go ahead and now add a shape container by clicking property over here, which adds the container as we've had in the past. Let's go ahead and choose white container and we'll scale this down. Uh, you can change, of course, the icon size inside the container and round the corners or choose any container that you want to get the desired effect, right? So this one looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Um, let's perhaps drop that over here. And let's make this button a bit more rounded by tweaking the ground corners over here. Nice little travel company banner, you can say. Uh, we'll group these together as well. Sweet. All right, so the best part, you're not done here. You've d done your design. Um, Glorify has always had, of course, the single page uh, approach, but We've taken it further with Glorify 3.0. Now with 3.0, you can click the canvas tool on the left side. This is right now in a single canvas experience. It just zooms in and zooms out on a single canvas. The moment you click this canvas tool, you turn your canvas into an infinite canvas, right? Where you can draw more canvas and create more designs as you please. So huge improvement over there, of course. Um, you know, it's just gonna make you so much more productive in your workflow, uh, you know, design all your banners in one place seamlessly, right? And so imagine the time saving and the level of collaboration that you can harness with an infinite canvas. Um, for example, you can go ahead and create variations at scale. Here's my design, I just simply go here uh, on my keyboard shortcut, duplicate, 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 and make as many variations as I like. For example, if I wanna change, I wanna change this image, Boom. This one. 
replace pixels. Let's pick something interesting like that one's a beautiful one. So this workflow gives you much more scalability in creating variations. Perfect. So that concludes our first video of Glorify 3.0, our beta reveal. Of course, we covered the main aspects of Glorify 3.0, the infinite canvas, all the different tool sets that we have that is has had a major facelift and improvement, uh, increasing your workflow. Of course, this infinite canvas is entirely up to you uh, to choose whether you want to go with this workflow or go with a, a page by page single canvas approach. It's entirely up to you. Uh, but yeah, I mean, of course, there's certain advantages with an infinite canvas that you can have. Uh, where you can, you know, kind of see all of your campaign in one page uh, and giving you the option as well to use the comments tool to add comments wherever you want them to kind of, you know, tell people, um, you know, communicate to your team, maybe a particular feedback or change looking great. And drop an emoji there if you want. So it gives you this much more powerful level of collaboration. You can, of course, use the comments tool uh, in any type of canvas, uh, but you know, no doubt there are some special advantages with an infinite canvas. So I think infinite canvases as well as single canvas are a perfect workflow for both professional and non-professional designers uh, to completely take advantage of, of, of. It really depends on what you prefer as your workflow and your particular goal of your design. I'll catch up with you guys in a future video with our beta release for Glorify 3.0. Take care.